Earlier this year, we introduced you to an Allentown artist who is fighting for human rights. His only weapon, a paintbrush. Tonight, WFMZ's Shandy Laurie has more on Moen Hader and how he is opening minds with his artwork. Reflections of war, grief, shackles and uh, bats and vultures, hope and love. It's raw. Moen Hader puts all of this in clear view on canvas. When I heard Moen Hader's story, I uh, asked him to please come to the gallery and create murals to depict his life story. A story that's been filled with so many twists and turns, it's hard to believe Moen is still standing and still inspiring others. So I wanted to give them a little eye-opener about what's going around the world. While living in Pakistan, Moen says he was tortured for teaching women how to read and standing up for human rights. He expresses his time in Pakistan and dealing with terrorist groups like the Taliban during an exhibit at Gallery 415 in Katasakwa. That is, uh, but that's not the only place colors cry out his story. The construction of Hercules, uh, a man who worked hard and he's struggling to survive. These walls, I hope he might not whitewash them. A few days after the exhibit, we visited Moen at his home on 7th Street in Allentown. Every inch covered in culture. Some of the paintings are filled with optimism. Others show the struggle Moen faced in Pakistan. You were kidnapped? Yes, many times. They, they kidnapped me from my exhibit and they sent me to dungeon and then they tortured me for like 10 days, 15 days and then I started hunger strikes and then they sent me to jail. Moen began painting in prison as a way to continue the popular mural movement to fight for human rights. Now he's using this small Allentown apartment as a gallery of his own to teach others. Chandy Lari, 69 News. Well, a local artist who moved from Pakistan to the Lehigh Valley is using his paintings to influence young people and keep them off the streets. WFMZ's Chandy Lari has more. In a small apartment above a 7th Street business in Allentown, Moen Hader is changing children's lives. In this neighborhood, there is no gallery, no museum, no painting, no books. They have no idea because before me, they have never seen these things. They were just, I mean, they were struggling to survive. Moen has introduced young people to his source of survival, art. It's the most comfortable place for me to be in my entire life. From wall to wall, Moen's murals cover the apartment and tell stories 19-year-old Don Papa says touch his soul. It's just because they are true, right? I look at them and I say, oh, wow, this speaks truth. But the apartment wasn't always this way. It reminds me when I came here, just like the dungeon where I was in Pakistan. In Pakistan, Moen says he was tortured and thrown in prison for fighting for human rights and teaching women how to read. But instead of getting upset at the memories the apartment brings back, he looks at the dark place in a whole new light. I thought, why not I enjoy that miserable situation and have some new meaning out of it. In three years, he transformed the apartment into a show place. With paint brushes and pallets scattered, there's no room for a bed. Yes, that's how I sleep. But he says it's all worth it to teach children who he says may not have the most money, but have the most passion. They were more educated than the kids I saw in Lehigh and I went in Pakistan, in higher education institutions. So they can see it better than the rich people and the wealthy people that are lost and everything that they have. Moen says he's had ups and downs, but understands the underdog mentality brings out imagination. You have to be robbed in your life, you have to be beaten, and you have to be humiliated. And it gives you more uh, insight than a person who has never been. Unfortunately, the inspirational artwork that he says shifted kids in the right direction won't stay. Moen has been forced to leave the apartment. But he's doing shows and exhibits all over the city because his artwork may have been washed away on 7th Street, but his influence will never fade. In Allentown, Chandy Laurie, 69 News.